Too young to die. That's what a Schoharie County man is saying after a trip into the woods turned into a night he will never forget. Good evening and thank you so much for being here. I'm John Gray. And I'm Lydia Colbita. It was a set of lost keys that sent 77-year-old Lester Savarese into the woods near his home in the town of Summit. And then it was a spill on his ATV that kept him there overnight. Uh, he tells us he was cold, wet, and worst of all, he was lost. But that's uh, when his training kicked in, thankfully. News and ABC's Amy Cutler picking up Lester's story live from Schoharie County. Amy, uh, how's he doing these days? Lester or Bud, as everyone around here calls him, was in good spirits. And he has been with the county rescue squad here in Schoharie for 20 years. And he credits that training with helping save his life. I got to survive. I'm too young to die. <laughs> 77-year-old <laughs> Lester Savris, or Bud as he's known in Summit, making light of an incident that could have cost him his life. Lost in the woods for 18 hours, soaking wet with no food or water, he could have froze to death. His wife, Jean, at home, worried sick. It was horrifying. I don't wish it on my worst enemy. It's horrifying knowing that the person you love is somewhere and you don't know where they are and you can't help them. You can't get to them. The whole ordeal began Thursday afternoon when Lester couldn't find this set of keys. He assumed he dropped them in the woods and took off on his four-wheeler to find them. But going through a creek, he hit a hole. The four-wheeler flipped. Saw it getting dark and I says, I got to get it into cover. And, and I went down the hill more and that's where the woods started. It was... Uh, trying to make a bed because I knew I couldn't sleep on the ground. Woke up about five times during the night. Meanwhile, Gene had called 911 and dozens of first responders were searching for Bud. He knew a lot of people and they wanted to find him. And they knew, they knew I needed him. The break came Friday morning when a state police helicopter spotted Bud in a field. He was conscious, alert, suffering just bumps and bruises. As for the keys, it turned out they were in his house the whole time. They were right there. Something nearly all of us have done at 77 years old, though, Bud says he doesn't plan to go back into the woods, at least not alone, anytime soon. Live in Schoharie, I'm Amy Cutler for News 10 ABC. All right, thank you.